Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. Today I'm going to talk about some of my modifications I recently did to my Power King tractor. And I would like to share it with the groups. So I'm going to try to finish this video before it rains today and it's starting to sprinkle now. So I'm going to talk a little bit quicker. Okay. So if you notice, you're looking at the Power King tractor, you probably notice something different. That the uh, trans tunnel is a lot lower. And I got tired of getting on and off and tripping over it. And since this trans tunnel is built really sturdy, and I've done this before on, a, on an older Murray tractor that had the same problem, I decided that I would cut it out. And that's exactly what I did. So I measured down three inches and I cut it. And now when I get on and off the tractor, especially if my boots are covered in mud or snow or whatever, I'm not going to trip over it. And one time I almost fell over the other side. Now I'm not going to trip over it. And all I did then was I took the cover, I'll take it off in there, and I just bent it a little bit out. And I cut it in a Y shape. I'm never going to put the second trans on it, so I have nothing to worry about. And there it is. And then I zip tied the hydraulic hoses and I repainted it. And that's it. Put that back on there. I think that looks really nice. Okay, the next thing I did was I added an extension to the footrest. And I'll take the camera off the tripod. When, I, when I'm done with this, or getting close to finish with the video. I just had some angle iron. I bolted it to the side here where there were already some holes in the frame. And then I found a piece of flat stock and I bolted that to it. And then I went out and I bought this at my Harbor Freight store. Tread tape. And I put the tape on there. Real simple fix. It's nice now because I made this pedal larger but then since I made that larger, my foot wants to be over here when I step on it to get more leverage. So I needed to add this little bit of a piece here for the footrest. And the last thing for this video, I made this. This is a off of a um, mud flap, off of a truck. And the reason I made this, because every time I got on and off the tractor, I put my hand on these muddy tires and I get my gloves full of mud and I got tired of it. I made this bracketry up so it would fit over top of the tire and I can put my hand on it when I get on and off the tractor. I don't know exactly what you call it. It's not a handle, but it's a, it's a fender extension. I guess that's a good name for it. Okay, and also I didn't want to drill holes in the fender because I didn't want the fender to rust out. So now I'll take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you what I did. And I'll switch the camera around. Okay. We'll start with that. And you can see how I cut it. And I measured back three quarters of an inch from here. Okay. And we'll go down to this extension. As you can see, it's piece of angle iron and actually this angle iron was off of one of those uh, outside basketball hoops the ones where they got the sand in the bottom this was a piece from the backboard and I cut it out so it would go around this and then I used the holes I already had in here for this piece I think one of these was already in the frame and that one was in the frame back there And this is just some pieces I had, and I just bolted them together to make this. Also, too, I can mention this I bought at Harbor Freight. This is to put on a tool cabinet to put your spray paint in, but I'm going to put my water bottles in it, and I drilled out this hole to put my hitch pin in it. It's metal, so it looks nice. I rounded off the edges so it's not sharp. Okay, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.
Talk to you later.